it's been since uh, since I've done a show. Um, because I've been away. Uh, a bit of a holiday or a vacation, depending on where you live. Um, and I went to Florida. So um, for uh, at the very least this week and possibly next week. Although no, not next week, because you know what next week is? October. So, just for this week, um, we're going to be doing games featuring Disney characters. There's hundreds of them. In fact, I could almost split them off into things like um, like a separate show just for movie tie-in Disney characters. Um, there's so many that we could do many, many, many Disney shows. Um, but the way the calendar's fallen, we're starting horror horror games next week again. Wow. Doesn't seem like a year ago that I was sat here doing a horror shows. I tell you, it's gone quick. Um, anyway, beside the point, innit? I need to get over to the little box. I, I'm so out of practice. So out of practice. So it's going to be kind of a... Not a lazy show, but a more of a relaxed and, you know, things might go wrong for a change. And um, we'll see. We'll see what happens, shall we? So um, big hi to Nutty Cluster in the chat room, moderating as always. Let's hope she moderates better than she does show notes for the snug. Uh, anyway. Boop. Here I am. Oh, and look, the screen's already set up for our first game. Um, and we're starting with a, game, uh, a system we don't often play, which is the Atari 5200. So... As always, generally speaking, I've never played these games ahead of time, unless it's one of those shows where I'm going like, eee, back on our lad, we used to play this all the time. Um, so I don't really know any of these that we're playing tonight. And um, we're going to start with this one. Gee, I know, I know, look at, look at me. Well, you see, I've not, not spoken to you. For, for, for nearly three weeks. I mean, you've blown me off since I've come home. So, what do you what do you expect? What do you expect? You know me. More digs than dig dug. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that's what I was doing. I was playing Sport Goofy. Sport Goofy. So one would assume <coughs> it features Goofy. Do, do you not think? I would think. Oh, there he is. Look. There's Goofy. Um, and I'm just not even going to respond <laughs> to the Nutty Cluster's last comment. Um, so, I've got no idea what it says. So let's, let's have a look, shall we? Oh. Okay, so... so I don't see any bad guys or anything. Am I supposed to? Okay, I don't have any. Oh! I mean, was I supposed to? Okay, I, I realised I was supposed to avoid them. Oh, they're on every level. Naughty. Oh. Oh. Shit, how do I get over there then? So I need to get a bit nearer the, the hole, as they say. Present company accepted. Nope. I mean, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing a, a sportiness. Oh, Jesus. Right. 
So I think we've established we're climbing up ladders, yes? And we're not dro dropping. Dropping off is bad, but I can't see if there's a life meter and there's just time. So it's a time thing. Yes, yeah, so he, he is wearing a sporty outfit as well as you can see on, on these graphics. I appreciate that, but I just... Oh, oh my time ran out. I think we need another go at that. So we can do this one without any tanks, which do feature heavily in, in sports, I believe. I don't play a lot of sports. But the word on the street is that tanks do feature quite heavily. Okay, so... None of the buttons do anything, so I'm going to assume I'm... I was supposed to hit that thing. Don't suppose I can run off the edge, can I? Nope. Okay, worth a try. understand what I'm supposed to do. I, I get that I'm sp supposed to get to the top of this building site. Fuck's sake. Oh. But I don't know about the diving thing. It does say marathon dive there. I don't feel we'll be playing this a very long time. Do you know what I mean? Um... Let's just have a... So there's... There's no way to change... What we play. So... It's not all sport goofy. That if you move faster when it's right. So And yet it goes on to the second one. Which I've yet to complete. That's bad, isn't it? Assume this is a diving board. None of the buttons do anything. And success or failure? And when I fall into the water, it feels like it's a failure. Oh, there you go. Naughty Clusters, obviously, um, a sport goofy aficionado. Or isn't there a computer that's got Google on it? You have to guide him onto the platform before the time runs out. I felt that's what I did. I did feel that that's what was happening. Um, but the splatting noise and the parachute opening afterwards made me feel that that was wrong. Um, do you know what? I think I've had enough of Sport Goofy. Um, even though we've only got seven seven games to play tonight, it'll, it'll just have to be a, a lax show. Um, Sport Goofy, Atari 5200. There you go. What a weird game. Um, okay, we're moving to the Game Boy. We've got one Game Boy... Do you have Pogo Pop on there? Pogo Pogo Pop? Is that a game? Is that a game that should is on the supposedly on the list? Is that what you
Oh, I see. Oh, she's, yeah, I assume you were talking about um, Sport Goofy then, and Pogo Pop is a, one of the games on Sport Goofy. Uh, who knows? Uh, but we're going to the Game Boy. We're going to the Game Boy, which means we need to be uh, to be over here. Um, oh, you see, Sport Goofy has two games, the Diving and the Pogo. So, you know, m m maybe. And it's a very, very small... And I'm not talking about... No. It's a very small maybe. We might revisit it and play the Pogo. Eh, perhaps. Um, anyway. Let's go to the Game Boy. Yes, that's why we're here. The Game Boy. And we're going to play a game called Mickey's Dangerous Chase. Um, Ooh, can I be a little bit bigger? That's what she said. Oh, maybe. Okay. Making moves doesn't have forgotten about that. Uh, okay, Mickey. Oh, Mickey's Chase. The cartridge says Mickey's Chase. Well, the title of it is a dangerous chase. Shall we find out if it's dangerous or not? Just jump. Because we can't have Mickey Mouse punching things. Can we land on them, do you think? No. No, we can't. So how do we get these, then? If you've only got jump... Why do you feel you've missed something, you know? Alright, we'll come back to that. Oh, uh, we'll come back to it soon. Then we thought, stroke the pooch. Is that a, a euphemism? I feel it probably is. But, right. None of my buttons do anything. Except the jump button. some sort of attack. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Right. Okay. So... Oh, you don't have many dog touches, do you? But now we know we can pick stuff up, but I don't know how I did it. Maybe this isn't one that you can pick up. So, do you reckon you should be able to pick this one? Whoa. Again, don't know how I did it. I think I crouched down and then pushed forward. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on, I picked this one up before. How did I do that? Oh! Look at me now on the, on the t roof. Say, I touched the dog then, and it got me. Oh! Oh shit. I mean, that looks like a bloody weasel from Roger Rabbit. Well, not even close to it. It's a little bit late now, at this stage of the game, to tell me you were joking about stroking the pooch. It's weird. It's like... <laughs> you aim to pick it up, but then it won't let you pick it up until you give up. It's like, oh, I'm trying all the buttons to pick it up. I just don't know what the buttons are. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, picked it up. Lol. shopping centre just to get some stuff and Mickey Mouse is just a troublemaker looking for trouble let's follow him let's pick up this box oh bastard Even if you put me back to the start, which you're gonna do. Shall we try? Let's try Mini this time, shall we? I imagine she plays exactly the same. I know you've given me the instructions on the how to pick stuff up, but it's a lot easier to pick stuff up with, well, when you know the instructions, and with Minnie Mouse. Weird. I hit that dog then, but I felt sure I got over it. Got an 
how I'm going to get that. Surely it's a jump on it. Oh, there you go. That getting that box sounds like a... Um, that... That's a noise from a, a Game Gear game. It seems to... It seems to remind me of, anyway. So we just end this episode round. Let's follow him, call some shit. That is off at two. Yeah. Oh, poop. See, I got over that, and yet I'm still flashing like I got hit. Referee. the jump capacity to do that? Oh my god. can F right off. Um, but that was Mickey's Dangerous Chase or Mickey's Chase depending on who you believe. Um, but it does mean we're changing console again now as we move back to our wide, wider screened TV and move to Game Boy Advance. Uh, and we're playing, uh, well, we've got three 
three Game Boy Advance games, and we're going to be playing the first one is Disney Sports Skateboarding. No, not poor Pete. Boo to Pete. Boo. Ah, uh, Disney Sports Skateboarding by Konami. Oh, it looks very Game Boy Advanced, doesn't it? How big can we get it before it drops off the uh, screen? I might have to do. Oh, let's have a look now. New game. Oh. We're not going to be able to do any tricks, are we? I don't know why. Why? Why I'm even considering. Oh, just four of them. Oh, let's play with Mickey. Oh, look, you get to choose your skateboard. Oh, you get you get to choose between two skateboards. Straight on, straight on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Up there. Feeble grind. Yep. I don't know what was perfect about it. It was feeble. What's that? R and A. I'm doing R and A. did RNA and did the stunt from the previous how am I supposed to do that it didn't give me any buttons to do and it's it's super difficult to control <laughs> it's lying every time it says perfect it's lying. What time? No, you're going the wrong way, Michael. I'm sorry. It's round here. It's round here. Well, I don't feel I got him. Ooh! Mm -hmm. 
Is that because I'm saying she's lying? I can't do this one. <laughs> Left, right, down. Now it's telling the truth. Um, I think we might have to quit out of this. And we might have to just just play a game. Oh shit, I selected normal. I did the, I did the, a, oh, it's a checkpoint, can I get the checkpoint? No. somewhere. Come on, where is he? Oh this is this is horrendous. So I obviously have to get the, um, oh fuck's sake. I have to get the flashing things done. Which way is the checkpoints? Oh no, I board a lot worse than I drive. And I don't actually drive badly, I just drive your car badly. So... <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> Stupid game. Um, that was a tiny look at Disney Sports skateboarding on the Game Boy Advance. And that tiny look, it's gone. It's gone. Um, oh, it's so painful that. Oh, dear. Okay. 
let's try our next Game Boy Advance one, shall we? And we're going to go with a movie tie-in, as we were talking about earlier on. This is Finding Nemo. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, pay attention, Nemo. <laughs> you touch the butt. Swim through ten bubble rings to earn a star ring. Ten groups, it's not actually ten. Oh. Can't touch that apparently. No. This has um Vague shades of the um Oh, what's it called? The fucking dolphin one. Echo. Finding Echo. That's what it's called. So is this game just This is um, find the bubbles, is it? It's not how pearls work. that couldn't I? Too cautious. See how much up is there? That's as much up as there is. Oh no that's a different phone. Press B to slap that rock. What rock? That rock. Okay. This way. Where's the oyster for it though? Over those bubbles a couple of times, and it huh, took a while to pick them up. No, oh, can't go up there. Shit. 
Okay. Come on then. What the? What's that? I guess it don't matter as long as we get the same picture, right? Students, this isn't a good school. This is going to be exactly the same. Swim around, find the bubbles. Let's assume there's nothing there. Go this way instead. Oh, got a bit close. That's right, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, what was that? Is that one of our mates? Oh no, it's Mr. Ray, isn't it? It's a Mr. Ray, oh it's a Mr. Ray. Can't touch that, bad feeling. I need to go. I was meant to pick a pearl up, but I've got nowhere to dump it. I suspected you'd meant you meant Nemo quotes. Yes. Um, <laughs> even though you said demo, I just I know what you like, and I just thought ah. Oh. Perhaps the drugs haven't kicked in properly yet. Don't know why I'm hefting around a great big pearl, because I mean I'm sure I'm gonna have to put it in somewhere. Can't pick up any bubbles when I'm let's pick up them. Is there stars? Oh! Yeah, fucking hell, Tad, we better add. You teacher's looking for you. Gonna get in big trouble. Now I need to put a rock in there, don't I? Slap the rock. Snap. Come on, kid. Punch it, punch it. That's it. I need to find other ones of you. Shot of a pearl, aren't we? Where's, where's the pearly? Carried the last one around for ages. Oh. Is there an up? Can we? Are we supposed to be looking up, up somewhere? Oh, shit. Oh! say. What do you reckon would happen if I drop that there? I've got them stars. Oh. 
Oh no, do I have to find Tad again now? There's no reason to go that way, is there? It's a big spiky fish and I don't need to be involved in it. And I could go around this way instead. But it does make you feel like, oh, I could go up here and you can't. Because you're a fish, you can't go out of the water. Right? slow when you've got it. Ooh. And you can't put bubbles. Oh yeah, I can pick up them bubbles. Won't let me pick up any other bubble. Okay, hello Tad, we meet again. Let's go. Don't let me die this time, please. No, wrong one. Presumptuous. Okay, that's a clam from the other side. This is the way out. Do I have to come back the way? for that one. I didn't see it in passing. Oh, have we been up here? Doesn't look like we have. Do you know, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> 
it can rack off. Oh. Gives you a bit of a taste though. A bit of a taste of Nemo with some chips. Can't go wrong. Um, Finding Nemo. Our second game by Advance Game. Right, we're going to move um, on to our final Game Boy Advance game. And this one, I'm not really... I mean, I'm not sure what to expect for all of them. But I, I just, I don't know what this is at all. Can't even hazard a guess. Um, this is called... Disney's Magical Quest. No, it does have a U in the name, which does suggest it's universal. Oh, Nutty Cluster didn't like the Finding Nemo music. Oh. Uh, all right. Oh, look, it's 20, 21 years old. Oh, it looks a bit like uh, Castle of Illusion or one of those sorts of games. Let's not watch it, let's play it. Well, we'll start with Mickey Mouse. And we'll play beginner. Ofs. Chinese-esque looking man in a blue robe. I'm looking for my dog. Oh, well, that's not going to be good, is it? Oh, Pete again. Attempt to rescue your dog. Save yourself. All right. Fair enough. I can get another dog. Not a problem. See ya. Bet that's what he says next. Oh. Nothing like a magical box, that's what I say. Come on then, let's chatter. Let's get on with it. Well, that's a magical box. I can't headbutt it like Mario. Oh! 
bees in the trees. Oh, what was that up there then? Gotta get up there again. Ooh. How do I get up there? Like that. What's that? Coins! It's a bit irritating that you have to jump in midair and then... I wonder if I'm supposed to... No? I'm confused what them red things are, to be honest with you. Feels like maybe I should be grabbing onto them to fly into the upper levels. Oh, what? Oh, grab. Throw. Jump. No. Can't all of it. And yeah, they're all over the place. these beanstalks. Oh no. Don't tell me I have to have this chat again. Oh good. Oh, what now? Shit. Oh, look at that. Well, it goes to say, apparently you can save your progress in this game, you have to finish in a single sitting. What? That's in nuts, that's insane. It has to be something. You can so you can't save your progress. You have to do it in a single setting, and um, you can use the small tomatoes to fly. 
and the big ones to float on. So we should be able to ride on this one, shouldn't we? That's what you meant, innit? And then we die horribly. Oh, I thought you were at home. I didn't realise you were on shit internet. We'd be saying, I'll be back for Retro Lounge. I thought you meant. Should just automatically assume if um, if you're on the internet, it's going to be shit internet. Oh, I missed it again. I mean, now I just really want to get past that big tomato thing. Can I not on the tomato? it run out. Okay, it runs out there, so can we just go, whoa! See, there's lots of... Oh no. I assume you have to ride these to get over the... Um get over spikes and shit. Thank you for the um, repeat subscription there. Um, not a cluster. Very nice. Well, that's not very fair.
Yes, I know I should be getting the gold boxes, but really, it's going to make any difference to the game we're playing tonight. Oh, apples. Just what I need when you're underwater. Oh! Naughty boy. Oh. oh, beaver. Oh, I thought they were something I could collect. Just go. Really? Another boss so soon? <laughs> Come on, surely we have these bricks to, um, Maybe there's no avoiding that. Ooh. Nice. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need to be higher than that. The other thing about emulation, I know earlier on you said you can't save your progress uh, and you have to finish in a single sitting. Uh, you don't. I can save my progress. Um, it's not like I'm taking a cartridge out or anything, so... Turban.
And talking of saving your progress, um, that's what I'm going to do. And one day, we might revisit it and come back to uh, Mickey, uh, Disney's Magical Quest. Yes. But we have three more games to play tonight before we go. So uh, let's move on to uh, our first NES game of the evening. We've got two. Um, obviously, it's different size screen. So let's. Nineteen ninety-two. Wow! And this is the NES game uh, version of Darkwing Duck. Now I know of Darkwing Duck. But I haven't seen any of the cartoons, um, I'm afraid. A Disney afternoon just passed me by. the bridge shall we get a choice that's good how do we choose that though i hit the wrong button obviously Now look, that hook feels like I should be able to grab hold of it, doesn't it? Oh, what? Thought that was something I should pick up. These hooks are just too tempting. Oh. It's like that girder up there. It's like, oh, oh, hello.
older than Milk still. Catch you. No cruelty to bats. Okay, so where am I supposed to go now? Oh. Can't go left or right though. Back to the start every time. How do I use that? Are they in life? Do that again. Oh. Sure, I wanted to be on those hooks to get that guy. Stop concentrating, haven't I? Oh. Should have tried at least one other of the bad guys. Thank 
can jump on that roof, but no, it's on the smooth thing. Yeah, <laughs> well, that doesn't look healthy, does it? No, I thought as much. So... It's been three weeks. Stupid. Stupid game. Um, it, oh. Let's play our final um, NES game before we move to our final game on the Master System. Yes. This is called Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, which is where I've just been, so I'm curious to see what this game is all about. And if it is actually about the Magic Kingdom, or if it's a lie, if it's a lie. Let's find out. for the big parade. Where's the golden key to the gate? Oh, uh, gosh. I must have left it in the castle. Oh. We need six silver keys. That wasn't the case when I was there. Attractions. I'm in. Oh. How do we get in these? Menu. Never like a menu. Do we talk to these people or punch them? Oh, what? 
um, let's say practical pig, shall we? Right, so we need to go to Space Mountain now. Is it where I would expect Space Mountain to be in real life? Oh, fair dues. Oh, oh, that's Space Mountain there. Now, the first one with audio is Steamboat Willie. Nah, bastard. Do we just walk up to her again and see if she asks a different question? Now, spikes, spikes from Tom and Jerry. Any, any. There you go. Can I can I go into Space Mountain? Star F. I'm just... Oh. No, I, I, I don't know what, what was going on. Uh, Magic Castle. Can't go on the Astro Orbiters. No. Don't know anything, got one wrong last time. Gotta be dark, can it? Yeah, but I've come for the key that was supposed to be here. Alright, alright. Let's follow the. Uh... So, small world. This is small world. Hello. See a pattern forming. It costs tuppence a bag. See, these are all telling me different places. So, each one of these, do I need to? go in somewhere and find there's supposed to be a silver key around it. But all I can do is walk. I can't search or... What's Big Thunder Mountain? Go to the second station and watch out for dead ends. Ooh, what the be Jesus? Guess this is just random. Oh, well, let's try again. Try and take every left. Oh, dead end. Every left, dead end. Bad choice. Oh, and you lose lives as well. Didn't expect that. So. Apparently there's a dog by the main gate. Or how are we starting again? Well this is the main gate and I don't see a dog. Do you? Do you see a dog? I don't see a dog. Can I 
only talk to people if you're st stood right underneath them. Looking for the dog? Yeah, I am. I am looking for the dog. You're right. Oh. I guessed. Saw the dog heading to Tom Sawyer's Island. This feels like a wild goose chase. I'm not sure where Tom Sawyer's Island is better than this. Probably him. And there's a dog. And it's Pluto. Oh, he's holding it hostage. How many ghosts are there in the haunted mansion? There are 999, but there's always room for one more. No! Oh! That's irritating. Got the question right and everything. Yeah, shy talk. A wild dog chase. All right, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Well, now I'm, I'm near the haunted mansion. I've got to see what it is. any shooter. Let's go all the way to Autopia and try again. Even though I got the question right. Chip and Dale. Or if you're in Disneyland Paris, Tick and Tack. I know, right? Weird. Oh, come on! <sighs> Went with Steamboat Willie again. Yes, I'm fucking friend of, friend of, friend of just asking me two questions. idea but I'm gonna go with circle H am I gonna go with circle H that seems to ring a bell yes yes ask you one more question Jiminy Cricket ofs hey I've got a silver key and that's where the clues end Weird little game this is. Super interested in it, to be honest with you. Um, because it kind of does have things that are in the park, in kind of the area where they are. if it was the button that was making me go faster or the, yeah, the button. 
This is bump and jump by the feels of it. Tearing at the top there, bloody hell. Whoa! What the. What? Where did the road go? I'm not trying again, Mickey. I'm sorry. Game over! We'll never know where those keys went. Well, you'll never know, but I might play that again. Do a quick save. Because I'm sure none of you are asked about revisiting it. But it's kind of cool to walk around a, a NES version of the park. Anyway. Um let's let's get to our final game of the evening. And this is called Deep Duck Trouble. Starring, of course. Donald Duck. Uh, oh, so different screen size again. Master system. Uh, there you are. So similar age to the NES. Okay. What do we think this game is then? How are you blamed? Famously voiced by David Tennant in the later, later cartoons. Uncle Scrooge, obviously not Donald Up. Uncle Scrooge. Oh. Well, if it's a shrine on an island, it's not uninhabited, is it? Get this. Oh, maybe. Actually, I know it's very late in the day, but I <laughs> assume as the music and everything was annoying, not your cluster early on, that it's loud enough for you. Didn't think to check. Okay, what buttons? As they change per um... mm, the Jungle King's crown, eh? Do I need to put yes, yeah, I do. Okay, that's taking a long time, isn't it? Okay. So we've got to jump. And at the moment, that's all we've got, so... Do we... Oh, we've got a kick, too. Oh, whoa, oh! Everything apparently set bats. Where are you? Just waited for me.
I only have kick though, I can't seem to... Works for that one alright. Why put that dark grey block in a place where I can't kick it? It's like it looks like it's for something, but I can't do anything with it. Well, oh, I can't go back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Don't get under the feet. Tap your foot at me, Donald. Oh. Donald Duck eating chicken to get better. Can't kick it. Oh, now, do you think I can ride on that? I don't think I've got enough. Oh, I can. He's an horrible duck. I mean, that is kind of his raison d'etre, isn't it? Because Mickey Mouse was such a goody two, two, two shoes that they couldn't have him being bad. So Donald Duck is the... Uh, the naughty. Oh. I want to get up there, but I can't get past that fucking snail. Oh, I thought I could get that then. You. Bet I can now, though. Oh, but I can't. I thought it was a swing. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? That's correct, Nine Cluster. It is a Detra made out of raisins. More chicken. These must go up somewhere. Oh, that feels quite a slow motion jump, doesn't it? Alright, how am I supposed to get over there? It's up those trees, isn't it? Up those freaking trees! I 
talk. Kicked it the wrong way. Is it going to come back? Guess you have to beat him. Oh, I'm done for the night. Um, right, okay. That was uh, the first of multiple Disney game episodes. Um, we have a whole bunch to get through. Uh, but, but. Ah, <sighs> the goodbye screen. Um, <coughs> it's October. Winter is coming, Jon Snow. Um, so, I think next week. We're going to put on our Halloween shirts and we're going to start our four or five episodes of horror games. Now, I did use an awful lot of horror games last year. So I have a bunch left, but there's probably only perhaps two shows worth. Maybe one and a half shows worth, depending on how long we play them. So I'm looking to you, fine viewer, to tell me of uh, any horror games in the retro sphere uh, that you'd like us to play. Um, because once I'm at my list, I mean, I just, unless we play some, some again, maybe you had a favourite from last year, and you're like, oh, oh. Perhaps um, play that again. I liked that one, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, yes, yes, no, it goes to it's October. It's mandatory that we have to play horror games. Um, unless, right? Unless we don't get any suggestions. In which case, we'll play as many as we've got. And then... We'll play Disney games. I, I, I don't know. Um, but the long and short of it is there's no wheel this week. Because my intention is to do horror games next week. Perhaps put a little bit of research in. See if the ones that we haven't played. Pull up the ones we played last year. And um, organise some horror content for you. It doesn't have to be gory. It doesn't have to be scary. It could be humorous, as long as it involves things you would see in Halloween time. Um, I mean, last year we played Monster in My Pocket. So, you know. Um, so, yeah, N Naughty Close is making a valid point. A valid, kind of. Um, so all of December will be Christmas games. Well, thing is, there aren't that many Christmas games. And we played them all last year. I know, right? Um, have looked, have looked for Christmas games, because now you like Christmas. But um, the the December months sometimes 
uh, we have a special guest on the show and we play a point and click adventure. Yes, Naughty Cluster, I'm talking about you. Uh, so, you know, maybe, maybe, <laughs> perhaps we might even thin it, finish Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> or start another one. And that's our Christmas tradition, is we spend a couple of weeks playing a point and click adventure. Um, but again, we'll, we'll, we'll organise that. We've got October to get done first. So, uh, with that being said, then, that's it from me. Um, you can email the show if you like. Retro at snugradio.co.uk Retro at snugradio.co.uk Snugradio.co.uk is the name of the website. If you're watching this on Twitch, you know that we're live every Monday on Twitch from 7 o'clock. You can join in, come to the chat, um, maybe give us suggestions of things to play next episodes and that, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube, then um, then you know that we're on YouTube. Ask Snug Radio. Um, highlights of this show appear on YouTube. Uh, but we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all those places as Snug Radio. And um, if you really wanted to help, um, then you could either subscribe on Twitch, that would be cool, or uh, myself and Nutty Cluster have design shops where you can uh, we put up cool designs for you to buy. And that uh, we'd appreciate you checking them out. She's, um, uh, <laughs> she's Ink Inspiration. I'll put a link in the show notes. And I'm the glorious idiot. And I'll put a link in the show notes. Um, so check that out too. That would certainly help any uh, help the show, as it were. And we might put some retro lounge merch up there at some point, honest. Um, that's it. That's it. You can find us everywhere at Snug Radio. And um, we'll be back at the same time, same place, next week. I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play something retro. Bye.